Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I got some awesome new Arteza metallic paints. And um, my husband and I did a video with two different techniques with these already. If you did not see that, I'll post the link in the description. But I'm going to do another video today. So I still have a little bit of it left in my cup. And what we're going to do on this one is a wreck ring So we've got a metallic white, a metallic purple, metallic pink, a bronze, and a metallic green. And I'm going to add just some of my regular non-metallic paint here that is a green. I think sometimes the metallic paints just kind of come out a bit thin. So I'm kind of hoping that that will offset it. So there's the metallic purple. And then some more of the bronze. Pink. And... I'm going to top it off a little more white and then just a little bit more of this regular non-metallic green. All right. You know what? I didn't use any of this green, so we'll throw a little bit of that in there too. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do the wreck ring technique. And this, um, I've done quite a few of these by now because they're kind of my favorite. I saw it first on Molly's artistry channel. She's the one that I think came up with this technique. So I'll put a link for her channel in the description as well. She's done some really awesome ones. And yep, it's become one of my favorite techniques. So I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my sticks here. So with this technique, what we're doing is we're just pulling paint across and through. There's no rhyme or reason you don't have to go in a specific pattern and I generally try to do something a little bit different every time. You could go straight if you want. I really love how it goes when you do kind of the swirl like that. So I think that's all I'm going to do on this one. And then we're going to go ahead and tilt. It just gives you a really unique pattern that you don't get with any other techniques. So, I am loving these Arteza metallic paints. They are really awesome. And wow, that other green that I used that's non-metallic, look how much that turn took over. Because there's different weights of the paints and the metallic paints. Um, I think, I don't know if they're lighter or heavier or what, but there's definitely a different density there. And there we go. That's really cool. I do wish I'd used a little bit less of that green, but I love this. It's kind of a perfect pop of metallic versus non-metallic. So let's go ahead and I'm going to let this sit for a little while. I'm curious if more metallic is going to float up from that green. We shall see and we'll be back. Okay guys, we're back. So we did have a little bit of cells popping up through here, which I'm kind of happy about. A little less green takeover. Uh, but let's do our close-up. The lower right hand corner. Love in that pearl color. Coming up to the upper right hand corner. You can see some pink cells popping up through there. Upper left hand corner. And then down to the lower left hand corner. And then of course the middle. Look at this awesome swirl in there. So cool. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this. Check out the earlier video I made with these paints. If you missed it, check out Arteza paints. They're awesome. Check out Molly's artistry. She does some amazing work. Everything will be in the description, you guys. All materials. All of these paints were mixed with Floetrol and water with my usual paint recipe that I use for everything. That will also be down in the description. So if you have any questions, check out the description. It should answer 99% of them. Otherwise, let me know in the comments, of course. And I will see you all next time.